In 2025, every product you build is going to have AI expected to be baked into it, whether it's a chatbot, a dashboard, or an internal tool. Either learn how to wire AI into these features, or let someone else do it, ship faster, and ultimately move up when you don't. It's the next logical layer for developers, and it pays. And listen, I learned this the hard way. I spent like three months building a README generator that ultimately was just a massive spaghetti mess of code, which if that wasn't bad enough, cost me a fortune on API calls and token bills, <laughs> which I didn't even know how to maintain other than copy and pasting it into ChatGPT or asking Cursor to help me. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the roadmap that I wish I had when I started to learn AI as a developer and ultimately how to go from dev to AI dev without losing months to chaos. And heads up, the one resource that really helped me get unstuck was the Associate AI Engineer for developers on Data Camp. If you stick around, I'll show you exactly how it beats doom scrolling and YOLOing on YouTube, as well as all the other course platforms out there. So, first things first, what even is an AI engineer? Because obviously, you hear a couple of terms thrown out there. First is machine learning engineer. Second is AI platform or infra engineer. And thirdly, applied AI engineer. Now, these are the engineers that we are gonna be talking about mainly today, which is the engineers who glue together LLMs and APIs to create real world products. And applied AI engineers is just the next step for developers. You're not gonna be using ChatGPT to just copy and paste code. You're gonna be creating code that leverages AI. And you already ship features, now you're just shipping features which have AI built in. And don't just take my word for it, on LinkedIn's 2025 Jobs on the Rise report, AI engineer is the number one fastest growing job title. Additionally, Microsoft conducted a study finding that 75% of knowledge workers already use Gen AI in their work on a day-to-day -day basis. And if this wasn't selling you enough, you can't ignore this because it's not only the next big thing in the space, but financially it's the next big thing in the space. Because not only are applied AI engineers making a ton of money, but these AI engineers are getting poached by massive companies for millions. So if you want to learn and you don't want to lose out, you need to be learning AI engineering. Because as they say, you're not going to lose your job to AI. You're probably going to lose your job to some guy who knows how to use AI better than you. So that's the why covered. Now let's kind of get to the how. Now there are three bad learning routes. Basically, you watch a hundred five to 20 minute clips of things which are kind of related. You never actually go anywhere. You get completely burnt out because there is no cohesion in what you're learning. You're just doing stuff to feel productive. Don't do that. That's what I've always done and it is a nightmare. And I used to always do it until I found DataCamp, but DataCamp gets you covered. One subscription and you can learn everything you want. But anyway, another route that I actually tried at the beginning is a math first route. Now, if you are scared of math, you'll be scared of this route. But if you like math and you think you're good at math, you will be wanting to go down this route because it feels like it makes sense, right? But it actually doesn't. Why? Because it turns into being like this rabbit hole of knowledge, of you don't apply anything, you're just learning and doing some maths. It's kind of like when you do a, have the textbook math questions and you're just kind of like rewriting the formula with a couple of numbers changed. Not only that, but you're not even learning how to code. So how long is it going to be until you actually produce anything meaningful? Meaning that you're probably going to burn out because you're not actually producing anything. And thirdly is API only. Now, if you're going to try and build AI engineer products, if you're going to be an AI engineer building products, you're gonna start off by essentially hooking up whatever thing you have with a chatbot that's connected to ChatGPT. And it's just gonna be this really thin wrapper. Do you remember that three month spaghetti code story for my readme generator? Well, that was like eight weekends completely wasted and like a hundred quid in API calls. It was crazy. The motivation that I lacked, it was simply the structure. Enter DataCamp's associate AI engineer for developers. And so I dumped the random tutorials and instead moved to this exact learning path. So why does this track work? Well, it's a 26 hour long track, which has nine different chapters. So these courses here, as well as three different projects. So real projects that you could then actually use in portfolios. No local setup or APIs, 
to worry about spending. And also, once you're finished with all of these courses and projects, you can get a statement of accomplishment that you can then share on LinkedIn, on your CV, on your resume, to show potential employers that you know what you're talking about. And if you want a real industry recognized certification, you can actually get deeper into the weeds here and get an AI engineer for data scientists certification, which as I said, it's industry recognized. You'll get a real certification that you can then add to your LinkedIn profile and share it. Now, this one, you actually have to learn, then test it with an actual exam then you'll get your instant feedback, so no messing around and waiting hours or days to get an answer. Instantly, you'll know if you've passed it or not. So if you want a real certification, you can do this as well. And so the step-by-step -step roadmap that you'll learn is how to actually use the API, right? Then how to create real prompts that actually work. Then you'll learn how to work with Hugging Face, which essentially extends your knowledge of working with LLMs to other LLMs that are out there in the world, not just ChatGPT. Then LLM Ops, which is like DevOps, but for LLMs. Then how to get these production ready so you can actually use them. Now you understand how to use the API, you want to learn how to use data with your LLM. So introduction to embeddings. How do you turn text into something your LLM can actually search properly? So you have embeddings followed by vector databases. So now you have an ability to access these databases from your LLMs. Then learn or relearn software engineering principles in Python, get back up to date on how to actually leverage LLMs within this context. Finally, develop LLM applications with Langchain. So how can we do this in a more structured approach which we can then extract or extrapolate into using to create agents? and other things like this going forward. And so, if you haven't figured out already, I love DataCamp, and why? Because it gives you that structured step-by-step -step roadmap. But not only that, it's not just videos, it gives you a real hands-on approach in the browser, which is just unheard of. Once you've finished your learning, you can then get a certification on what you've learned, so you can actually prove to people that you know what you're talking about and they'll actually respect it. It's all under one subscription, so it's super simple, super easy to learn other things. Like, for example, you want to learn how to be an AI engineer, a data analyst, data engineering, just Python generally, all of this is under one subscription model. Don't repeat my expensive mistakes. Check out the first link in the description below for DataCamp. Join over 17 million other learners who have used DataCamp to make more money or to get a better job. And go and check out Associate AI Engineer for Developers. It's loved by learners at Google, eBay, PayPal, Uber, T-Mobile. The list goes on. And you get a free trial when you start. So start the track for free. Do a couple of lessons. If you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. If you do, I recommend buying it because, as I say, one subscription and you can get access to all of this structured information for free. Also, a quick tip bit that I love about DataCamp is they have blogs, right? On these blogs, you can learn the most up-to-date information, such as context engineering. Just come out, and there's already a blog about it. And also, they do tutorials and stuff as well. So, highly recommend checking them out. First link in the description below. So, to answer a few questions you probably have after all that is, do you need heavy math? Well, no, not for API work. A solid stats and linear algebra base can be really handy. But only if you're moving into custom models, if you're just going to use the models that are already out there, like Claude, like OpenAI's models, then don't worry about it. Another question is JavaScript or Python, which language should I use? Well, skills are normally language agnostic, and in this case, they kind of are. Most people in industry are using Python, so probably use Python. But other than that, you know, DataCamp has their courses in Python, so... Just do that. Additionally, if you're scared of cloud costs, don't worry. Inside of DataCamp, you can use their sandbox where you get 2,500 credits to use. Additionally, the track will teach you how to set a limit and also how to leverage caching so that you don't have to spend money for repetitive questions or repetitive answers, I suppose. Translating AI jargon to stakeholders is how people actually make money and how they actually move up in their career because you are ultimately solving business problems at the end of the day. If you want to learn AI engineering properly in 2025, start with coding, start with structured concepts, avoid the fluff and have a real roadmap. 
avoid the misery I spent of months trying to create this daft readme generator and just follow a nice structured path like the one DataCamp provides. So start the associate AI engineer for developers track on DataCamp today and fast track yourself to a real AI engineering role. Hope you liked the video, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.